You are now listening to About That Business, hosted by Rom Wills. Rom Wills is an entrepreneur and personal coach who has helped people reach their fullest potential personally and professionally. Take it away, Rom. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Sunday morning simulcast with Rom Wills. Overcoming your fears. And yes, y'all, I'm back. Feeling a little bit better. Feeling a little bit better, ready to like, uh, you know, share some wisdom with you. And in sharing that wisdom, I'm going to tell a story. Now, I've told this story before because it's, it's really part of Rom's narrative, right? But it's very apropos for this particular podcast. Now, back in, um, when was that? Yeah, back in about 1997, well, even before that, I had written a pamphlet called Finding a Good Man for the Ladies. And somehow, um, this gentleman who was a producer for this public access TV show called Love and Happiness got a hold of it and wanted to do a show on it, right? And I, I was like, this was a 12-page pamphlet. Not even 12 pages, really... The 12th page was just blank just to balance it out. Just so, and it was like self-printed, printed at home. And it was just my thoughts on what a woman could do to get a good man, right? But they wanted to do a show on it. I guess it was profound, right? I was like, oh, okay, right? And let's just be real. I was nervous. I mean, yeah, it was public access, but it was still in front of some TV cameras in, um, in a uh, production studio. Right. And I remember I got there early. Now, this was the first time. This was the very first episode of this show. Right. Very first episode. So I came in. I came in there and, you know, I was I was the guest. And I'm going to tell you what. I wore a blue suit and not one of those like fancy blue suits, like business suit types. But one of those blue suits you get from one of those, uh, you know, urban mall type of stores or something. Right. So, you know, but it was it was a nice suit anyway. Right. And I was so nervous. I was so nervous, despite being indoors and, um, you know, it was a pretty good temperature. Despite being indoors, I was sweating so much. I didn't want to take off my suit jacket because <laughs> they did. You would have saw a puddle. <laughs> you would have saw a puddle. That's how nervous I was. Right. And then during the actual show itself. During the actual show itself, now I'm sitting. I'm sitting there, right? I'm I'm sitting there. I got three. I got three black women, very attractive, but still just sitting there looking at me. <laughs> so that was added to my nervousness. And they had that look like say the wrong thing, brother. Say the wrong thing. <laughs> so I'm like, wow. But um. When I look back at that show, when I looked at the video, I, I look like a pro. In fact, everybody said how professional I was. And they, I looked like the only one on the set that wasn't nervous. Everybody else said they were nervous. I was the only one who looked like he wasn't. Like, I was just running stuff. And you know what? I share that story because despite being nervous, despite having some fears. Because, you, you know, you're on TV. You hadn't done this before. You don't know what you'll say. Now, you don't want to say something stupid. Right? You don't know what to happen. And it's a, it's a normal thing. It's, it's normal. There's nothing wrong with that. It's normal. Right? Because I know some other cat. I know another cat who did the same show uh, later on. Shoot, that dude had about a six-pack of beer in him when he did it. So he had a lot of courage. But the point of even sharing the story, right? The point of sharing the story, we, everybody's going to have fears. In fact, having fear means you you actually thinking about something. You know, you actually thinking about the consequences and you thinking about what can go wrong. There's nothing wrong with that. It's normal. It's normal. Because if you're not, it, you know what, if you're not thinking about something that could go wrong, and I don't mean just constant, but it, it, it's, it's normal. Very few people are at a level of evolution where they, they, they're just totally comfortable with the situation. You're going to think something like, is this going to go well or whatever. Usually, if they do get to a point of that, it's usually because whatever they're doing, they've done it so many times, right? They've done it so many times that it doesn't matter. 
that's the only time. That if they've done it so many times, got into it, like it's normal. But if you the first time you're doing something, anything, and you're going to have fears, you're going to have anxieties, you're going to think about it, right? Or even in dangerous situations, right? It might be some danger. You might, yeah, you might have to fight, something like that. Fear is normal. Fear is a normal thing. But what you have to do is have the courage to face those fears. See, that's real courage. Real courage is to have the fears but say, you know what, I got to do this anyway. Right? Now, that was a time I got over. Hey, hey, like I said, I ain't take my jacket off that whole show. <laughs> but it was funny. When I did subsequent shows, I was, I was so comfortable. I'd be sitting there just chilling. I'd be like, yeah, yeah, what up? A little too comfortable, but that's another story. <laughs> Like the producer said one time, he said, Rob, do you have to hit on every woman that's associated with this show? <laughs> yeah, I mean, but, you know, one of the things uh, is, I don't care what it is, whatever it is, you got to just go for it. Yeah, you're going to have fears. Like, there's a lot of people who don't get businesses started or they don't work on a project. I wish, I, I know so many people, and that's why, you know, Podcasts like this, I'm always going to do because I know so many people that got ideas. That I mean great ideas, but they they're afraid. Like, what if people don't like it? What they going to say? Yeah, I hear that. Y'all be surprised how often I hear that. You know, you think I can do this? And like I said, it's normal. I don't I don't fault anybody, but the courage comes in doing it anyway. You know, you got to do it. You got to step out there anyway. And is it, are you going to succeed all the time? Heck no. Heck no. Right. And you know what? Some of the anxiety you have, every single thing you think could go wrong probably will. Right. As Murphy's Law is, if anything could possibly go wrong, it will. Right. Or oh, stuff will happen, uh, some monkey wrench or something, some detour. But. But you still have to have courage because, yes, yeah, something could go wrong, but then something can go very right. And the turn, or like I said, some situations where it's dangerous, sometimes you might have to, you know, you know, you might, your your child or something might be out there and somebody's picking with the child or coming after the child. And you, you might be scared of the person trying to do something, but shoot, you get over it. You know, sometimes you just got to jump into it because it's just necessary. So, I mean, you just got to, you, you got to look at this. Yes, stuff could go wrong. Yeah, you can get your, you can get hurt. But you still have to overcome that fear. You have to face it. And you have to just do it. Especially men. Especially men. You know, I mean, because women, one thing I give to women, a woman might have some anxiety or whatever until it comes to their children. Then, you know, I don't, I don't care how meek the woman is normally mess with her child. I've seen, I've seen that. I've seen the meekest woman, like, threaten somebody. I, I remember I remember when I was young um, where we lived. And it was the, the house we lived in had, like, a little garage. And it was in southeast D.C. And the guys in that neighborhood had a weird habit of building clubhouses wherever. And, you know, it didn't matter if, whether they owned the property or not. And somebody had built a clubhouse in our garage. So one day, you know, look up. You got about 20 dudes out there. Now, my mother is normally a peaceful person, man. She just got on the porch. And in language, I, uh, I'll try to avoid repeating on here. <laughs> Told them to get away. She didn't have a gun, anything. And these guys, these big burly dudes, all of them were like, they were gone. Except for, except for one. I, I, think, I think he was a candidate for a mental institution because he just started laughing. And he left anyway, though. Right. But that's that fear, just overcoming your fear and just saying, look, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Very important, everybody. Very important. So whatever you got a fear of out here, whatever, I mean, whatever, you know what? Overcome that fear. Just do it. Just do it. The worst that can happen is you don't succeed. But at least you know that you can do it because you might fail in that one endeavor. But because you got over your fear, you might be able to do something else. I want you to think about that. All right. So anyway, y'all have a great Sunday and keep rising and transforming. Peace.